Hey guys, Ash here coming at you today in Dragon Air Silent Gods. I am back joined by Scratch Scratch who uploads Dragon Air every day on his new YouTube channel. You've been playing this game since pre-beta, man. Mm. Welcome back to the channel, dude. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, what's up? No problem, man. Well, last time we had you on playing Dragon Air, you helped me through some summoning, and now, you know, in through the magic of, of YouTube here, not a lot of time has elapsed, but I want you to give me some orientation. I think I know it's going to help a lot of players out there as well watching this video. Maybe you played through adventure mode, and adventure mode can take years i feel like if you read every line of text uh, yeah. and really get into it i start I'm, I'm i did a little bit of both i don't know about you did you did you read everything or man just like a little bit i'm not a lord yeah. a lord fan you know so i tend to just skip through it i'll be very honest and yeah. uh yeah i tend to read if it's something that i cannot solve you know like if it's something that <laughs> then I'm, you get okay, into what's it. happening what did i miss you know let me just yeah. read it to see if i missed something well that's the beauty is you can if you're a player that just likes to breeze through the content and get to like the mid game or whatever uh it, it's not that arduous of a process to do so but if you want to enjoy everything if you enjoy the lore and the stories and the quests and the side quests they've got mm. that for they got plenty of that as well in this game uh by the way this video is sponsored part of the sponsored series by dragon air silent gods their second big hit out a new verse after marvel snap uh and it's uh it's it's amazing right the game looks incredible obviously we're not just saying that as i mentioned scratch you cover the channel you, i mean you cover the game on a brand new channel it inspired you to to go ahead and do that uh it's got kind of a fantasy vibe as you guys can see uh but also kind of the tabletop it has like die and stuff like that in this game as well where you can kind of see the rng it's five million downloads so far ranked number one on the leaderboards in 13 regions you can get it on ios on android on pc on mac on steam epic game store uh everywhere you can play this game okay uh so very very thankful for them for sponsoring and again you can see the download link my download link will be in the description in the pinned comment below as well as scratch's channel scratch all right, here we go, man. I've been playing adventure mode for a couple weeks, kind of off and on right now. I've done my first yep. real summoning as well. So I have, uh, you know, a good amount of, of, of heroes to work on. There's about 200 or so in the game right now. Uh, yep. But what do I, what should I be doing? Like as, as, an, as any new player, what should I be prioritizing? Because honestly, this game, it's very kind in terms of like it holds your hand through the adventure mode and it's not boring but uh, you know it teaches you as you go but yeah, there's also a lot in the game there's also a lot you know so it can kind of be overwhelming so you know look at my account here tell me to go wherever you want me to go and tell me what i should be working on so basically when you start playing the game as any new game it can be a bit overwhelming now dragon Edit, they're kind of like taking you step by step and explaining you how to do this, what to do there. You even have the drilling ground, you have yeah. the, the dummy there, how we call it. You can actually, at some point, you're going to be able to bring champions and test them for damage without yes. actually taking them into a fight to compare them. I did that just the other day. I was like, well, okay, yeah. what is this? Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. And slowly they will explain you everything about the game. They even have kind of like, like an AI bot that you, you can basically ask questions and be like, how do I do that and stuff? So <laughs> they're going to they're gonna tell you. But the main thing that you're going to want to work on is uh, creating your first team, having that priority of uh, doing it. So Dragonair has six elemental affinities uh, in the game, you know, and every season, all these elemental affinities are paired with each other. So you're going to have pairs of two, you know. Okay. And when you are building a team, the main priority should be to get a team of three elemental affinities, especially early on, because the main thing that you'll be getting out of it is extra stats extra uh, extra attack extra defense you know so that will help you a lot especially early on now overall you don't necessarily need to make that as your main priority for the entire game because mechanics are more important at the end of the day you know having the right uh, champion to bring decreased attack or maybe uh, control a bit the ultimate energy which is kind of like the turn meter the speed you know so all these things will be very very important the elemental affinity is important. So if you click right there on the right top corner where you see that lightning uh, uh, image yeah, next yeah, to his yeah. name, you see the elemental affinities right here. So this is the pairing at you the can moment. You see the pairings, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, and a season have is one month or is it longer? A season is three months. Three months, okay. Roughly, yeah, roughly three months. And um, you're going to unlock the five hero elemental affinity. You are going to unlock more bonuses for the three uh, man elemental affinity. 
it's kind of like a like a great hall that uh, you have and basically you're just slowly leveling up you just progress uh, in the game you complete all sorts of different tasks quests you know like doesn't matter it's not not related just to pvp like the great hall in raid or anything like that it's basically just play the game every everywhere uh, everything that you do it will reward you with the with the currency to to work on your great hall and increase the stats on your elemental affinity you know and later okay. on uh, it's going to be pretty important because eventually by the end of the season you will want to have six different teams you know one for each element and that's because you're going to have world bosses that uh, will require you to attack them with the right element because you have 100% increased damage basically you know okay. so you want to okay. maximize so that, yeah. when they say three hero elemental affinity it just means that i need three heroes on my team that are one of these two correct so okay. you can have one fire to poison yep, yep. or two poison okay. one fire or three poison for example okay you know? All right. And now every season, I heard everything resets. I heard this is like the biggest thing to get used to in this game, right? So, so basic, yeah. What what doesn't reset? Does that is that a fair question to ask? What, correct, like correct. if I if I spend a ton to level up this uh, you know, uh, this character, is everything gone or, or do I still have the character? Like what happens? Yeah. So you keep everything that you spent on, everything that okay. you acquired in terms of heroes or yep. artifacts or anything that will have something some sort of a value more than uh, energy, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're going to level up your hero. When the season resets, that hero is going to go back to level one. But if you scrolled him, if you booked him, that's going to still okay. be part of it. Okay. The reason for it is because every season, they will bring a new map. Okay. Every season, they will bring new bosses, new challenges, new gear sets. So the Mera, the elemental affinity, will shift every season. So next season, you might not want to build the same hero again. You know, you might want to use something else because it will be better for the elemental affinity combination. It will be better as a mechanic for the new boss that you're encountering. So basically what resets is the gear. And I was honestly like very negative about the whole thing, like with the gear. I was like, no way, or you're going to make me farm gear again. But you know what's the good thing about it? I don't have to spend money, uh, money on stamina because they're not selling you stamina like ray does it's not something that you just purchase like crazy this doesn't why makes the uh, doesn't make the gap bigger from well i was gonna say that whales. yeah you're right it's like is how much can you possibly do in three months anyway you know it's not like you can yeah so that actually you're right it's actually kind of an interesting point there mm. so basically that that will that will reset and the level okay. of the heroes but you keep you keep all your items and stuff except the the gear you know Okay. Which you start fresh again, but it's it's fine because it will be new sets, you know. So you said first priority is working on my team. So we talked about the elements of a team. Now, obviously, as you play, you're just gonna get some through the adventure, you're just gonna get some some heroes, right? Yeah. Uh yep. and we create a hero as well. Like you can create one. I have Ash. <laughs> I have Ash Lane, right? So how good let me just start there. How good is your own hero? So your own hero is actually very, very interesting and very unique. So if you're actually going to properly click on him and go to, yeah, let me, to the skills directly, yeah. uh, you're going to see that right uh, down on the, at the right corner, you have the switch element. So basically, unlike any other hero in the game, you can switch in between three different elements uh, at any time, free of any cost. And boom. each one of these will have a different sort of kit. So you have the frost one, which is more of a supportive one. It gives you shield. Then you have the fire one, which is more like a damage build, a nook build, and it gives you increased attack straight off the back. Uh, you have the lightning one, which is kind of like a bit of a damage with crowd control. Okay. Know? So it gives you versatility on your main hero. And the good part is that you're going to be able to use this in all the teams that you will have. You know, okay. it doesn't matter of the element, you just switch the element. To and fit you fill the, the role with it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That makes that makes sense then. So obviously, investing in your own hero is a, is a good idea. After Absolutely. that, are there any heroes that everybody gets that we should be investing in? Yes. Yeah, so you're getting Hexandra, which is the poison uh, chick with the the uh, the silver hair right there. Yep. Yeah. She's the one. Awesome. Awesome healer. She's literally like the apothecary of uh, of Dragonair. She's amazing at healing. Okay. So I would strongly suggest you to invest in her so you're getting healing from her you have your main character which will be fire at least for this season you pair fire with poison and the next thing that you will kind of like have to prioritize once you've got these two heroes is the tank 
Now, everybody gets a tank at day two or day three, if I'm not mistaken, just by logging in daily. And that's the dwarf that you have right yep. here, uh, Horus. He's the next thing that you should prioritize on. Now, of course, if you're not a Kraken that summon pretty much all the other champions in the game, this should be a priority. If you summon some crazy, crazy yeah. epics or legendaries, then you, you kind of like look around what's better for, uh, for your account. But these three are free to everyone. And you should definitely make your core team of the three elemental affinity, at least for this season, with them three, you know, 100%. Okay. So looking at my squad here, I don't want to spend too much time because not my heroes are going to be different than everybody else's. But, like, who else yeah. would you pair? The legendary? I only have one. But would you? So I yeah. wouldn't necessarily go for the legendary Okay. Here. I would I would try to prioritize to find some better, better things for my team. So the main thing that you will have to farm initially is the goblin. So the goblin is... Kind of like a dungeon for XP. Yeah, How I was going to say, that's what I clearly with, need a lot of. <laughs> yeah. With a click of a button, you upgrade your hero. You don't spend time wasting it on chickens and doing a million stages of campaign <laughs> and then go to the go to the tavern and come back. You don't do that here. So yep. you farm the goblin and the after you level up your hero. So the goblin will require a lot of AoE damage dealers. Now, initially, you might struggle a bit, uh, a bit with that. If you, if you click on the journal, so the goblin right here, this dungeon, will be the XP dungeon, basically. So you're going to level up your heroes with potions. You've seen you can do it with a click of a button. Yeah. You're not wasting time in campaign on just getting uh, tons of chickens ready and tavern and back, and uh, you're wasting half of your day. No, you're clicking. You max your hero. Of course, you will have uh, a, a thing in the process to rank the heroes up, which are called uh, uh, kind of like fragments. You have three different yeah, dungeons I see. Yep. Yep. for all the elements. You know, So you're going to have to farm a bit those ones but the more you go towards the end game the easier will get to to get all those done because they're much easier to farm than a regular dungeon and on top of it it's pretty rewarding so you're going to be able to rank your heroes to five stars super quick and then just get them to to max level you know okay so and this uh, is where i should be using like all my auto battles or whatever and and focusing yeah. on getting everybody what like what should be my my goal in the next i don't know week for example from where i am now should i try to get like a whole team to level 50 is that is that yeah, reasonable I, yeah yeah i okay. mean you're gonna be able to get them way higher than 50 you okay, be able, okay in a week you should be able to get close to uh past 70 i would say if you're not gated by uh by anything you know Oh, okay, cool. So I'll yeah. keep grinding EXP then in, in Goblin. I yep. will continue adventure, right, as my priority, yep. right? And then yep. beyond that, what should I be doing? Maybe talk a little bit about how to get good gear. Yeah, so basically, yeah. you will unlock the Grave of Venom, which is a dungeon, and that should be the main priority. And okay, down the line, it will be the most farmed dungeon in the entire game for pretty much every player because you have three different dungeons that will give you the gear sets. Then you have two different dungeons for the runes, you know, but that's something that you unlock only a bit later once you uh, start up your heroes, you rank them up. And uh, the Grave of Venom is the dungeon that will give you gear for your damage dealers. And uh, you know how it is. You want, you want to have attack chest piece with crit rate, crit damage. Yeah. You want to have the perfect Same thing. sort so, of, yeah. Yeah, exactly Coming in from same. raid, it will be the same yeah. sort of like priorities. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So that will take you a lot of... Uh, a lot of time to get the perfect pieces that you would want to where is that like a, one of these dungeons over here yeah it will unlock okay. for you in a bit if so you i go just on, keep on going through map, i can point you to it yeah. because it's, you're, it's not unlocked yet but oh just to the left you see that uh, at the left there where it's uh this guy actually yeah that's the one yeah Great okay dynamic. all right i'll get over there i'll get over there tonight <laughs> so this yes. is where i'm going to get my dps gear Correct. Yeah. So okay. that's going to improve you, because, uh, improve your stuff because you're going to be able to farm after the higher stages on the goblin. The higher stages on the goblin, the easier to level up your heroes. You know. Okay. Cool. So mm -hmm. uh, EXP level everybody up at least 50, 60, 70, whatever. Yeah. Uh, get better gear because right now my gear sucks so uh, bad. Yeah. You're going to have great gear. You're going to be able to fall okay. some slowly. Keep an eye on the on the vendors when you're going to different uh, locations, towns because. You're going to have the market usually in each one of them you have kind of like a, a merchant that some yep. of them will sell you gear you know so always purchase it you know okay anything worth buying here in these areas everything 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 okay <laughs> how stingy should i be with my with my resources like because i don't know i'm not at the point where i like i've been hoarding my gold basically right I, i've been like i don't know what to do so in the For early the moment 
You're let, going me, that way. let me re-ask it this way. It, where I am in the game right now, what should I buy here? So right now, I would buy everything from there. Literally. Oh, except, my God. Okay. Except the green basic tonic potion because yeah. you might not need it now. Yeah. Okay. These, well. these are actually at a decent price. They're not ex uh, overpriced as items. And early on, you won't have any issues with the gold whatsoever. The issue with the gold is something that you're going to encounter in the end game. Okay. Once okay. you unlock legendary gear, you know. Well, I'm it's glad still, I a, asked, it's still a, bit of, a bit of a wonky yeah. economy with it, but we've got confirmation they're planning to improve all that for the for the next season, you know, because uh, they realized something is not clicking uh, good with the gold there, so they're working on uh, or, or sorting that out for the next season, yeah. Okay. Are they generally pretty responsive to community feedback? Yeah, they're like, pretty, pretty good with it, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I, I guess you have to say that because it's sponsored, but, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, they, they're actually no, pretty good. Like. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So what about cooking? Is this just for health re restoration for the most part? So cooking, this is actually very interesting. You're going to be yeah. able to collect all sorts of items from the, from the map. You see glowing places. Yeah. You just go collect stuff. And you have, I, I would say, I don't know, like 50 plus recipes that you can okay. craft, cook different ingredients, recipes that basically at the beginning of a fight you have the option to consume one of them and they will increase your stats so for yeah. uh you're gonna get i don't know attack and uh, accuracy for uh, uh 10 minutes or so 600 seconds you know okay okay and things like this yeah so basically if you're struggling somewhere always try use cooking a bit stuff of, uh, yeah cook the stuff yeah okay and you use them as well before the fight any other general tips of things that i should be prioritizing i feel like you've given me like quite a bit to work on and i feel like uh, much more to my point earlier i have a much you've been my compass scratch i have an orientation of what i need to be doing right yeah anything else that, that, that we should add for viewers out there yeah so follow follow the campaign you see it on the on the left side soul's resting place you're mm -hmm. gonna have to do something now a lot of you might get stuck okay might get stuck and it will show you that you need journey xp in order to progress to the next part of campaign one thing to keep in mind, they have something that's called daily gated content. Yeah. Basically, you're doing your part of campaign for the day. And for the rest of the time, the game allows you to learn the game, learn the mechanics, build your team, synergize your team well, play around with them. And there is another thing. At the journal, if you click on a and actually once you're gonna be out of out of there, you yep. see you have journal. Right here, you have the daily quests, the commissions. These are something that are mandatory to complete every single day because not only they give you gems and they give you a summon at every four of them completed, but they give you a huge amount of journey XP, more than anything. So whenever you're stuck, either you have to wait till the next day to get the new quests, either you have the chapters on the journal. So if you go back at the journal again, and you have these chapters in the journal as well, Ash. So a lot of people, will disregard this so you're gonna have to claim that and you see once you claim all the the rewards from there not only that they're good rewards but you're gonna move to the next chapter and you might get stuck and you're gonna be like okay i cannot do nothing else i have no commissions but i have all these adventures that i gotta complete on the chapter so you're gonna need to pay attention to see if you can clear the rest of the quests on this page and uh, do it and that will give you more journey xp and then you're going to be able uh, to okay. maybe move to the next the next missions that might might keep you blocked because you don't have enough journey xp but you need to keep an eye on this so this is kind of like a, a tip that I, i've seen quite a few people getting stuck with uh, with this you know no that's really good so if you get stuck or you hit your progress limit for the day just yep. come to Check the, this. yeah come here and that might progress you enough so you can continue anyway yeah, just make sure you have everything uh, done there. Yeah, hundred percent. Should I be joining an alliance yet, or or not worrying? Oh about yeah, that? man! Yeah. Like if you can, a hundred percent. So you have a, we have alliance wars. You have okay. something similar with CVC, fairly rewarding, and uh, you're gonna get the the alliance shop, which will allow you to purchase more summons, more essence of creation, and more goodies that uh, are definitely very helpful. <laughs> Okay. Well, fantastic. Then we'll, we'll uh, maybe I'll make one. Maybe I won't. I'm kind of undecided, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and see. Mm. Uh, 
but yeah, easy have uh, to join somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, well, hey man, thank you so much again for coming back on. Thank you so much for uh, for the Dragon Air Silent Gods for sponsoring today's video. Again, it's available everywhere: Epic Game Store, Steam, uh, PC, Mac as well. Uh, so super, super cool. The download link will be in the uh, show notes below, as well as the first line of this video's description, along with Scratch's YouTube channel where he covers Dragon Air Silent Gods every day plenty of beginner content for you guys so make sure you go ahead and check that out scratch thanks for joining me man i feel like i said i feel much more grounded now dude a pleasure as always that's a pleasure as always and looking forward to to uh, push you to the mid game and end game you know later me on. too man me too we'll definitely have you back on towards the end of my my uh series here and maybe we'll continue who knows so thanks again man peace